In this video, we're going to explore how we can control here the padding or the width of our scale here by removing the padding here and for example, adding padding here on this scale. So let's start to look how to do this. So let's start to look how to add or remove padding from the scales in Chart.js. So the first thing what we need is we need to go to Chart.js3.com, getting started, this specific link here, which you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on the site, scroll down here and copy the boiler template. So we're going to copy this entire template, copy this. And if you want to understand what this code all does, make sure you watch this video that explains it all. I'm going to paste this all in there and then I will cut out the title. And once I did that, I'm going to put it in here, say refresh. All right, so now we have our bar chart here. What I want to do is I want to maximize this bar chart by 80% so it has a big size. All right, so once we have this, what we want to do is we want to control here to increase or decrease the padding basically around the scales here. So how to do this, we go down here and then in the Y axis, for example, put a comma here and go to the ticks because we want to pinpoint the ticks because there we can control that. And all we're going to say here is padding. And then by default, if I'm not mistaken, it's three. So we're going to put in 10. If I save that, refresh, you can see here, it starts to increase from the left side, but also the right side. So we can do this even uh, 20. You will see it even more clear. There we are. So let's start to reduce that or remove it completely by saying zero. There you are. So now what happened is we have the tick marks directly attached to the scale here. So this same can be done as well on the X scale. What we're going to do here, we say here X, and then we're going to put a comma here, and then we're going to say ticks, padding, zero, save. And let's look at this and then refresh. You can see here, it has slightly moved because of the tick marks here, just a few pixel difference. Of course, if you put in here 25 pixels, save, refresh, and now we have a larger size of it. So this is basically the way how you can control the scales to make them more narrow or extend it, the size of it. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to know, for example, how you can control the step size, in that case, I'm going to recommend you this one here on how to control the tick steps on a Y scale in Charge.js.